Welcome back, Gadgeteers. It seems like it's only been a few seconds since I last saw you, and in your case, it probably has. So today, been thinking a lot about upgrading my desktop system and what I want to do. Of course, if you've seen the title of the video, you already know that I've purchased a new system. Now, I had a couple of options. One was I was going to build my own system. The other one, I was going to buy one ready-made. I opted to buy one ready-made um, that was already constructed because I wanted to test out a system that basically is something kind of a little bit in the middle of the road, a little bit better than normal and see how it fared and quite frankly if I don't like it I can take it back. Now normally I do build my own systems but um, the one I have down here and I'll show you a little bit later my really ugly AMD 1055T I honestly don't remember when I built it but I would have to say it's got to be eight or nine years old at this point so it's a pretty old system, but it's still working great, but it's a little log in the tooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the new system. We're going to unbox it right now, and then I'm going to do some benchmarks on the old system before I swap out. So one of the deals is I'm going to have to cannibalize my old system because the new one didn't come with an SSD, and my old system has two SSDs in it, one for Windows and one for Linux, so I need those two SSDs. The new system comes with two USB 3.0 ports, but I want more, so I'm hoping I can put a card in. We're gonna look at this system and see if it's possible to do that right now. All right, so here's the box for the new system. It is a Lenovo 720, I believe it's a dash 18. Let me see if I can find the part number on it. And it is an Idea Center computer. Lenovo Idea Center 720-18. And this particular system comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a Ryzen 1700, and a AMD RX 560, I believe. So, oh, and it also has a one terabyte standard hard drive, but I I think what I'm going to do is rip out the uh, standard hard drive because I have a four terabyte HDD that's in my old computer and I want to use that one for bulk storage and I don't think there's enough room for two SSDs and a four terabyte drive, but we're going to find out. All right, let's get started. Oh, by the way, I got this system, if I haven't already said, for $7.99, so it was a pretty good deal. How exciting is that? I've got a new mouse. Honestly, I'm not even sure why they bother putting these in anymore. And a new power cord. And service and support information. <clears throat> I actually went online and already looked at the hard hardware manual. Uh, it wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be. So this is pretty much what you would expect. I'm going to go with nearly useless, but, you know, the laws here do require it. I have a quick start guide, but the thing about that is... I think I'm going to be getting rid of the drive, so I'm hoping this unit has a UEFI um, with the Windows 10 key built in. That's usually how they do things now, so all I have to do is install the right flavor of Windows. So I believe I'd have to download Windows Home, Windows 10 Home, if it's still called that. And they got some pretty pictures on the manual here for changing and replacing various pieces of hardware. This was what I was looking at online, and I wanted to find out if it has a PCIe, uh, one of the small slots, because I do have a USB 3.0 card that I would like to put in there coming from my old computer. Pop 
power cord. Looks like I get a new wired keyboard, just kind of your basic keyboard. I don't think it lights up or anything fancy like that by the looks of it. And for $7.99, I'm not so sure I would expect it to. I do think in the future, though, I'm going to look at getting a keyboard that lights up. All right. Let's see if I can figure out an easy way to get this out. Kids, don't try this at home. All right, we'll flip it right side back up. Now I've heard this system is very, very light and it does feel like that's the case, which will work well for me. They actually sealed the bag. Wow. It's so funny because this thing looks so much bigger online. But I didn't really want it big. I wanted nice and small and easy to manage. All right. Let's get you guys moved in here a little bit closer. See if I can't get a little bit more light for you. All right, there we go. All right. So I know the front looks like brushed aluminum, but it's actually plastic. And you know, when you're looking at it online, it looks like it's really metal, but it's not. It's just plastic. Uh, it does have a card reader, which I think is going to come in really handy. It's got in the front, again, with, this is really important to me, the microphone and headphones, two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0. It has a CD-ROM drive, which feels like that part is metal. And on the back here, here's the RX uh, 560 card, has a fan here. This is the power supply and there's a fan here. Now I've heard that this power supply is only 250 watts, so that's not really that much. But I really don't need um, a big, powerful gaming machine. My main thing here, what I'm going to be doing most of the time, with this is rendering video so that's really going to come in handy for me so it does have onboard video I'll just leave the cap on there and another cap for the onboard HDMI so if I wanted to I could take the card out then on the back it's got uh, again microphone looks like speakers out and auxiliary in so I love the compactness of this system, but what I want to know if I get inside here is what I'll be able to do. Now I've heard this is a uh, toolless entry. It's not. Um, either that or I'm just not strong enough to turn these. So I'm going to have to go get a screwdriver and open these up. So I was I shouldn't say was, I still am building shelves in here. I've got three units that I have to put together. One of them's done, and it's going to end up going back here so I can put some stuff on the wall. Hopefully it's going to fit okay. <clears throat> if it doesn't, I might have to end up... Well, that didn't work. Be right back. All right, hopefully this one will work. Yep, works fine. And, you know, me personally, after this, I'm just going to have them be finger tight because I don't really need to have them super tight. Mm. 
Okay. Alright, very tight design in here. And there is not... I don't know if you can see in here. Let's see if I can close in for you. So inside this unit, there is not a additional PCI Express card which is somewhat unfortunate. Now I read, there we go. Yeah, this just slides open. Let's see if that's a little bit better shot for you. So the one and only PCI Express slot is taken up and this is also interesting. So it has one 16 gigabyte uh, memory slot. So let's check out, see if I can get down low enough. Okay, well, this particular power supply isn't as bad as the other unit that the other person bought. This actually has a 400 watt unit in it, but apparently this connector to their motherboard is proprietary. So this entire unit is a proprietary system. Uh, I do have room here for, let's see if I can close this again a little bit, for one full-sized hard drive. And I don't really see much room otherwise for another hard drive. Now let's see how many SATA controller ports I have. So I only see two SATA port controllers. That could be the deal breaker for me because I have to have at least two more. I'll have to think about it and see if there's something I can do. I mean I could unplug the CD-ROM but that gives me only one SSD and my four terabyte. So I would change out the one terabyte that's in here for a four terabyte. Uh, but that is very limiting. So I'm gonna have to go over this motherboard with a fine tooth comb and see if I'm missing something. I'm gonna tip it up. I'm not sure if you can see in there. So there's the two SATA controllers right there. And I can't put a card in here. And they also only have one DIMM in here. One 16 gigabyte DIMM. This unit has 16 gigabytes. Looks like a standard cooler. And they do have the extra case fan up here. Uh, I can put a case fan in the front. And I, I probably have one that I could use and I could put in. But I gotta think really hard about my whole SSD situation because I really do want to have all my SSDs uh, but I want the storage as well and there's some kind of port here yeah there's a port right here for an M2 SSD, but I don't want to have to expend more money to do an upgrade to get an M2 SSD when I already have two uh, SATA SSDs. And it's strange how the angle is. It actually looks like it would kind of stick straight out, although it does have, uh, it looks like a small uh, screw hole here so that the M2 apparently can be pushed down, I guess. I don't know. I think it might stick out at an odd angle. That is the strangest thing. Oh, what to do?
Well, I'm going to have to think about this, and then I'll get back with you, because without, you know, I mean, at a minimum, we really need to have three or four SATA ports, and I've only got two. So, worst case scenario, I would have to go with one SATA for right now, and in the future, maybe upgrade my uh, SATA to like a 512 or something like that. All right, folks. Well, I'm taking this computer back, uh, and I'm going to show you why I'm taking this computer back. First of all, it has an M.2, looks like two ports, so I think it could take, uh, for one thing, it is designed to take an Optane. Uh, the second thing is, I don't know if you can see that, that horizontal gray-colored bar. There's, there's two M.2 slots available in there, and I know one is for an M.2 Optane, and I think it can take an M.2 SATA because it looks like in the BIOS it can do that, but you have to have the model that has a special bracket that goes right here in this area, <clears throat> and it, to hold the two uh, cards in, and of course I don't have that, so, you know, I, even if I did get the M.2 card, um, It'd be another $149. Well, at that point, I might as well just get a new computer. So this has two SATA ports. And oddly enough, I'm going to see if I can get down here. Do you see the black cord with the three or four wires coming off the motherboard? If you trace that cord, it literally goes down here <clears throat> to this one right here, which is the only... Uh, power supply for a hard drive and it's run off the motherboard believe it or not so it's the only upgrade the only upgrade you can do is replacing the hard drive uh, the second SATA controller I was thinking I could just unplug the uh, CD-ROM if you look here look at the power connector for the CD-ROM so it's a basic let's see if I can get that in focus it's a very basic uh, power connector because the CD-ROM DVD drive is actually um, a, designed for a laptop, so it's super low power. So, you can't use that with another drive. So they have this additional bay here, but you can't put anything in it. So, this is completely non-upgradable. <clears throat> now, I did power it up and check the Ryzen 7 1700 processor. And, yeah, it was decent. Um, specs were good, but, you know, I don't want to buy another hard drive. I've already got two SATAs um, in my other computer, so I just want to move them over. So I'm going to take this back, and there's a better computer I can get for, uh, you know, another couple hundred bucks, way better, that lets me put in four drives, and it also has multiple slots. Uh, so I can add other devices. I can also do SLI and put in two cards. <clears throat> um, it has something like eight USB ports. This one is USB port challenged. I mean, it's only got the two on the front, uh, which I'll put it back together and I'll show you. But uh, it's going back. Now, if you were just buying this for, you know, kind of your average user type thing that isn't into upgrading, maybe wants to put an SSD in the future, in where the drive is not a bad deal but uh you can get a lot better for the money so anyway uh i will edit up this video and you let me know what you think and i'll be bringing back another computer i have one in mind and uh, we'll go over that computer as well so thank you for watching if you're thinking of buying one of these probably shouldn't and uh, like and subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets.